So it's Wednesday the 17th of June 2020, nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, this morning I finished off all these inserts in between the feathers and it's given it a three-dimensional quality, I would suggest. The feathers, the plumes themselves look like they're raised up even though they are level with the mirror. But I really like the way that's uh, looking. Of course, it's going to look completely different when it's up on the wall. But the next plan of action is to cut up these pieces. I might cut up this peacock um, body in one and adhere it onto the wall and then take these into sections, perhaps three sections, and then adhere it. And then what I probably will do is use these teardrop shapes, very much like the ceiling mosaic, and uh, cut a whole load up. And these come from these that are, as you can see, chipped crockery, just saying and uh, rejected, bought in second-hand shops, charity shops and other bits and bobs. So I've got quite a few here. So my plan is to have that undulating around the peacock. Um, and I think what I might do is do a few at a time and then install on the wall directly. Uh, rather than putting them on mesh and then cutting it up into sections because I think that might create a better flow. I'm not sure, but that's how I'm feeling it should go now. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing so far and the rest of the week will all be about teardrops. <laughs> so before I actually install the mosaic, what I've done is added a 50% of water and 50% of admix. You only need a small amount actually and used a brush to apply it onto the wall. So by using a 50-50 water admix solution onto the walls, it sizes the walls basically. So that increases the flexibility. Um, it's a water-based polymer additive is GT1 uh, for cementous walls and improves the grout flexibility, physical properties and performance. So it's ideal for porcelain tiles, so it'll be all right for the crockery. Now, as you can see here, I've drawn out the body of the peacock, so I've mapped it out. So the next plan of action is to put the adhesive on that section. Okay. It's Thursday the 18th of June 2020 and it's installation day. So what I'm going to do now is to cut up and cut around certain sections of the peacock. Now, as you can see, I've done that already with the main body the main body of the peacock. Now, what I've done is I've kept this mesh part on so that his head doesn't flop. Now, this section is about four, two feet by three feet, or three feet by two feet, can't remember. Anyway, basically, it's quite a large section and I've never made, I've never installed such a big section, but we'll see how that goes. Because one thing I don't want to do is misjudge and misshape the sections. Say, for example, if I cut up that area there so the feet are put on first, it might go slightly to the left or slightly to the right. And, uh, you know, it all makes sense when you put it all together and then you look at a mistake and, <laughs> and you have to redo it again. So uh, that's the plan today. So it's time to mix up the tile adhesive. What I'm using is uh, Bal's Max Flex Fiber Tile Adhesive. Um, it's a good tile adhesive in that it has a five hour pot life. 
So basically, you can leave it in the pot once you've made it and it will last you five hours. Um, it's um, a one in three mix. So one part water to three parts powder. And I tend to mix it up a little bit at a time, just like you would cooking. And I, you know, all the admix um, can be mixed up in either a thick or a thin consistency. Um, so it's the, the choice is yours, depending on what you are adhering to, I would suggest. But the general rule is to make it a creamy consistency, but not too thin, not runny, that's for sure. Um, and as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of water at a time to mix it up. And soon, obviously, as soon as you add the water, it starts uh, reacting and starts doing its magic. Now this is getting to the consistency I want because it is quite a heavy piece of mosaic, a three foot by two foot mosaic, the body section that I'm going to adhere to first. Um, it's an instant grab tile adhesive as well, so it will not slunk down, hopefully. <laughs> And that's the kind of consistency that you want. Okay. So the next plan of action is to apply the tile adhesive. So what I use is my um, rubber kidney, which you would use for pottery actually. So you apply it on like so, a nice thick wadge of it onto the walls. And once it's all covered in the section that you've drawn out, um, you'd use a notched trowel. So I've got a six mil notch trowel and then comb it through like so so that it has a good grip onto the mosaic and also you do not have too thick a consistency oozing through by doing a six mil it's not going to come through onto the mosaic um, if you can imagine that um, you've got the mesh as well as the tiles and the tiles are about, I don't know, four or five mil. So it comes right up to it. So you can see the depth of that. So the next plan of action I will do now is to cover all this section on with my rubber gloves and and apply and comb all this tile adhesive. And like I say, because you've got a five hour pot life on this tile adhesive, you don't feel like you're rushing as fast as you can. It's not like a quick set tile adhesive that takes a quick half an hour to do. It's always good to have the longer the pot life, the better, in my opinion. So next plan of action. So this is going to be interesting. I'm now going to apply this whole section in one. So what I use is a float as well. And first of all, I match up where it's going to go to the drawing lines I had. Look, it 
on a little bit to start off with to see if it fits and thank goodness it does <laughs> so then you apply the float and add pressure to the mosaic now I'll just give you a close-up in a second So here's a close-up. So like I say, you use these floats which have a nice spongy surface to it. So you're adding pressure onto the mosaic and making sure every part is adhered to. Um, you could, clearly I've got mesh here and I wanted to use the mesh I didn't want to cut the mesh out, as it were, because this would be all floppy and messy. Um, so that acts as um, a stabiliser, really. And then you can then rub this through, because that's all the tile adhesive around. With gloves, obviously, but I'm just showing you this as we're here. And then we could take away the excess um, with the rubber kidney so yeah so that's what i'll be doing for the next hour i hope it's only going to take an hour so um i'm going to cut up the peacock feathers in sections i reckon because it's too big whereas this worked i'm so pleased it worked so uh yeah next section here we come So it's 11 o'clock um, and it took me about two and a half hours to finish. Do you like the way this is reflected? It's really quite stunning. It looks like not just a peacock but a butterfly with uh, the central steps as well, the staircase tile tapestry. So uh, first clean done. So once it's dried up a little bit, I'll give it a nice wash down with a damp cloth and sponge so I was really pleased with how it installed and um, I cut it up into sections in the end rather than long plumes um, I cut them the big you know sections of plumes into six areas in the end um, and that worked really well and after installing the peacock part of the mosaic I actually lifted it up and took it away and worked on the feathers because I wanted to have a little bit more space at the bottom so that's the great thing about this tile adhesive if you've just applied it you can just take it all up again <laughs> well I did anyway uh, whilst it was still wet um, so that I could have the mosaic right up to the top um, and then that way I can have edges of mosaic, um, edges of crockery right round the bottom half of his plumes so it'll go all the way up to this area which might still be crockery not sure yet all in the thinking it might change who knows but it's made such a difference actually putting the work on because you know the the brilliance of working in a big studio is that you could step back
But now, nobody's going to be able to step back unless we knock down the wall behind me. <laughs> Which I doubt, because it is the end part of a terrace, so that's not going to happen. So, um, yeah, over and out until the next section of the mosaic is completed. Uh, find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well, or Twitter, as I used to say. And, um, yeah, hope to catch up with you another time. See you then. Bye.